Good evening again and welcome to today's class. Um, I'm going to be looking at the final cut, but then final cut is exclusively for Apple. You know, we have MacBook, you know, Apple PC. It's actually for, you know, um, Apple. So it's impossible for you to use Final Cut. If you don't have, a, have an Apple system, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Windows version, if you like, of uh, Final Cut. And when I say Windows version, it's not like it was specifically designed for windows because the apple company does not have a final cut editing software or app for windows however there are um windows editing softwares that work almost like final cut so if you google for final cut um windows version you would get Movavi, for example, okay, and since quite uh, a, a good number of people use uh, Windows, we are going to be looking at uh, the Movavi um, interface, okay, which works in accordance to a certain you know um, extent with the uh, final cut settings and how how they work. Not exactly the same thing, but then the comparison is is likable. For those of you who use uh, final cut you realize that if you know how to use this then you also will not will be able to in fact edit with final cut sincerely even with adobe if you are good with adobe premiere which lessons we've already thought you realize that final cut the issue really is just the interface that's just about it but if you know how to use adobe premiere you can use final cut if you know how to edit with movavi uh, we're about to treat that you can edit with final cut it's just uh, other softwares like uh, Canva and the others. Canva, Canva is not even designed for some serious audiovisual editing. It's more for graphics and stuff, you know. But the other softwares, Power Director, you can. If you can, you can use Power Director. Yes, you can also work with uh, Final Cut. If you go with DaVinci, then yes, you can also work with. Uh, final cut so it's basically the same it's just the interface that changes so if you know how to identify a tool and, and learn how to apply it then you're good with final cut so that that's basically what it is so let's start with the interface of the Movavi um, software editing software as you can see like a good number of the other softwares we have already gone through for both part one and two and 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 all of that this is uh obviously um di divided into multiple sections all of this here over here you have the plus button which allows you to import add video audio and photos into uh, your your project the next one we have is audio sounds and background you know music video and all of that stuff next is the titles to add fun and styles to your video following that is the transitions that helps you move from one picture to another with a style we have the uh, effects okay that applies templates sometimes that applies filters sometimes you know to your job to make it distinct and then we have elements you know great um graphics okay that you can also apply to your work and we also have this effect store that you can get into and also be able to bring in some you know very very lovely touches to your work and uh, finally on this line top line we have other tools that enhance and put special effects on on the clip that you have selected or the clip that you are working on when you come down this whole place is a timeline this is your working space or your workspace where like i said yesterday about um the other software we dealt with you have all the things happening prior director we were talking about yesterday you realize that over here we have all the operations all the things you want to um, do with the video it's here now when you come here 
we have the record video that means you can do live video recording we have a screen uh, capture so for example what i'm doing you can also use movavi to do that then we have record audio so assuming you've already shot a documentary and you want to be able to slap some audios on it to you know complete it you can actually use this particular section of movavi to record just audio you edit it make sure that is on point and then you can apply it and then we also have a slideshow here okay so you click this and it also gives you a door that allows you to do all of those things this section you see here okay is also the record video basically the same thing record audio okay basically the same thing now this one helps you to toggle or to open up your video in a timeline from uh, a minor section to a plus section so from a small section to a big section this place is your preview where the job that you are working on shows and then over here you can when the minute i click this it takes me into my pc so that i can drag in jobs over here in the timeline track far left you will see the add an extra track in other words these are tracks this is where your video and audio tracks are you know video audio so if you click add tracks i've not clicked it i just put a cursor on it you'll see that add an extra you know uh, track to the timeline so when you do that both the video and then the audio um, time another timeline you know pops up over here you can link when you click this you link one track to the other if you so desire this makes a video visible or not when you click it hide or not not hide this is your um, opportunity to mute a track that is becoming a nuisance to you when you're editing or you think that you know you need it or you don't whichever way you can always if you need it you use it. you don't need it you know that's it then you can also disable gaps between clips okay by just clicking this to um, pull them in and this is a mute button for the video that we are working on you can mute it you can unmute it okay so let's let's hit the ground running here we click this and you import here this is where you have your files this is where you import video your project files are also here there are sample videos that are like templates already built from Uvavi. we can use them in fact we will use them and then we have backgrounds and also introduction videos but in order for us to um, start with the edit i would rather get out of here to go and import a video so when you come to the file top um, left far corner you have create a project so let's click that so that we can actually create a project since we are you know working so over here you see movavi seven day trial version this is not the full version i'm only using this to edit so in seven days if i decide to keep it on my pc in seven days it would evaporate and i'll not be able to um, use it any longer okay so new project okay i click that i chose create a new project and that's it so I, um, this is where you look for you create your new project this is where you have your edit this is where you play back this is where you check out your um, interface setting this is where you export the job and if you need help that's where you come so over here let's click this okay the audio section and then you see all of these things you know pop up now when you click this you see the various items built in and then effects from store that you can download into the system or uh basically here you have your favorite you have your energetic you have your calm you have your romantic you have your habit all of these settings are in here for you to use so let me pick one of them so that we can start working with it i double click and you see it starts downloading from the internet so i'll drag it into the timeline and and just leave it i just dragged it into the timeline and i left it now the minute i dragged it into the timeline and left it you can see that i have my undo this is a do undo button okay this is the do this is the undo button so um that that's what it is otherwise you can use command command or control plus z will also help you to uh, undo any project and if you want to cut a video okay for example you can use this button this button here which will be highlighted soon okay you can use this button here you see you can use this button here to split it or control plus b and you can just split the video and um, this rotates the video that you have 360 you can even rotate it 360 okay and this crops your video 
and this you know adds some color adjustments and this helps you to change your setting uh, in the system this gives you transition opportunities and you can also record we've already gone through this over here you can reduce the size of the video in the timeline or the workspace so when i click this watch what will happen here you see how small it's become and when i, I go to the plus you see how big it's become so much so that you can even see the audio you know in the timeline okay so that's how this particular thing works okay then audio when i click this you see i have my microphone i have a real time definition audio so all i have to do is just slot in and then start talking and to be recording my audio when i finish i edit it and i slap it on the video document it done simple as that okay then the same here you click it you want to do live video recording it moves from that interface and gives you another interface okay so we've come back um we are here to try and finish up with what we started over here when you click this it can help you to mute the track you see the minute i click it the track is locked and so when you play you will not really hear anything if i if i play you see it's playing but you don't hear anything let me mute it. i mute it i release it and that's how it works okay um let me bring in the video that i had on early no let me just let me not pick anything from my timeline I did before. Okay, or oh, okay, let me just go back and pick one of the same travel and tour thing and then just bring it here. Okay, then if you bring a video here, you just drag it into the now if I want this to right now I have already have an audio here. Okay, so that audio is already here and it plays. When you play it, it plays when you unlock it. Then that you release it and then you can also uh, work with it, okay. So for now I have to let me delete this one. Yeah, so I can we can work with this one. Okay, so I can stretch this particular video. I can stretch it like that. It's ended. I don't have the full length of it. So then what you do is that you can just open it rather. I was gonna stretch it the setting and then this also allows you this arrow here also allows you to look at the beginning of the clip and the end of the clip if you, if you uh, stretch it too much but if you don't stretch it too much then it's cool you don't even have to be moving it here and there okay so this is our video i clicked it and it's playing now i want to be able to play along uh, so if it, it's like this one too just like this i want to bring the video to the timeline all i have to do is just what i click here you just um pull it or drag it in and you can just put it right by here okay and it's onto the system it's it's audio because you can see the sign so all the things you see here are basically audio okay all the things you see here are basically audio so that's why they come like that so let me just get rid of it so if i want to put that audio under this timeline i'm actually free to do that and double click it shows here and you see it's come under this clip so now i have two clips actually that are gonna play so there are two clips actually playing and 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 they are fighting each other to, to some extent let me play from here just um it's locked now, if you look here, you will see the audio gauge. Okay. Over here is the audio gauge, so that you know you are not hitting the red line. And it's a good one. The level is it, 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 it's okay, it's fine. So we are not going to worry ourselves so much about it. Okay. So this is your undo so for example i brought this in here i want to undo so when i click the undo you see what happened it's locked up when i click the do redo you know it releases and i can play i can play with it so that's how you use the the timeline you basically know all the things here this is where you throw away anything you don't want so when you highlight the thing you don't want and then you come here it's gone so you go back to undo it returned 
okay um you want to cut a project you highlight the project first you come here to the uh, cut scissor you click it and you see the video is divided into two you undo and it's one you highlight it and you click it you see it's divided into two the video is divided into two okay you undo and you put it together in fact this video and audio if you want to separate them like we did with adobe premiere you right click and then you come to detach scenes you click it and now you can move just the audio when you detach it you can move just the audio i'm coming let me just okay so you detach audio okay so you can see that the audio is not separated okay the audio is not separated i'm moving this one and the audio is still there you know so the audio is not separated and that's how that's how it works okay that's how it works so um don't forget don't forget that over here you can actually move this picture here in the preview window 360. let's try the first strike you see it's turned around again it's turned around again it's turned around and then again and that's it okay i highlight i click the clock and it opens up you know the video around here and that's it it keeps you can crop you can actually crop the video by just coming here and then moving here this is straightening it and move it to the left or to the right but it basically crops and then when you finish cropping you can and you want to go back to what it was before you use the reader otherwise you apply and the minute you apply it shows on the on the video that you have done this particular effect or you've done this particular touch you've added this particular touch to the job and it stays okay so that's how that works you can oh you always have to when you click a, um when you click a crop something you always see it's cropped it you see the size is, is going back it's, it's, it's changed okay before it covered the entire screen okay but now you see that it's changed so the crop effect works very well okay now you can see over here we have the general application you know applied effects so these are effects that are on the video you can speed the video up actually see them as i do that you see how small the video is becoming then you can slow the entire video to play in a slow motion so that's how you create your small slow motion effect you can also add fit to, to reduce the if you do that towards the end of the video, let's see what You know, so it kind of blends. It kind of blends into the dapper. Let Let's try and make it a little bolder. Okay, um, here. Watch when it is. When you let me put it back. When you click a video, you drag it in. You see, it's red. It's red all over here. That means you can't drop it there. It's only when you come here into the timeline that you can drop it. So you see the color here has changed. This is one color and this has changed. Now let's play and see. You see how it faded? Let me use the arrow back see how, how that went down you see how it went but if you undo see how it goes up 
So you see the difference. The other one went in a feed form and the other one did not. So that's how those ones also work. These are your titles. Okay, so assuming you want to put a title on a job, let's say this is what I want to use. Okay, it has to download. So it's downloaded because all of these things are stored in the internet and I'm working online anyway. So let's wait for it to finish downloading. It's downloading here like Power Director did yesterday. Okay, it's done. So I drag it, you know, and, and drop it here. You can see it's come up here. Okay, but it's not really done yet unless I apply. It. So here, I come here, I apply, and it's here. Okay, I put it on the video. Now, the reason I put it on the video is because I want it to show. Okay, so when I apply it, you see that it shows on the video. So traditionally, any video that you put on a clip, it's supposed to show first unless you switch the way they work and you want the one under to come first which is possible it happens in power director then you can do that but otherwise the video that you put on top comes first okay so this is where you can do your titles and all those kinds of things and then they have a pack here you have a thumping pack that you can actually pick and drag and just put it in the video too okay if you like it you apply it before you can actually work on your system and then you come and drop it and you see the showing. So I can do a really lot with this particular arrow. I need to a whole lot. If I'm doing a video and I want to add so this is how to add some of these things, you know, onto the job. It's it's pretty simple. Very, very simple. To make it work. So you see how this one of Final Cut or all these other softwares work. They're very simple. They are not difficult. They are not complicated at all. They're very, very, very easy. Way easy to use. Okay. Some of these uh, softwares have some interesting names. But when you get in there, you realize that uh, it's not as fear fearful as the name sounds, you know. So that's basically what it is. You can just do anything you want here. These are effects. You can just drag. Let me show you how to use this one. I'm deleting okay, this thing here. Hey, I'm rather pissed. Then I should be cutting. Now, let me drag. Look at this. It's a filter. Okay, all of these things are filters. This is the word this does. All of these things are filters. So I'm going to drag this one onto the video. Okay, now you see it's red. I have a red button, you know, where I click. You can see the red on the, on the far left of what I'm holding, what I'm shaking up on the screen. Let me drop it here. You see the red is gone. It comes here and it's out. It comes here and it's in. Then you drop it. The minute that thing goes you drop it now see what's happened to the picture let me undo this is actually what the thing is let me redo which is what happened when i dropped that particular um effect on the, on the picture you see what it's done so if i play i'm not seeing much you know so you have to be careful how you use some of these effects because now then they are there you just fancy for them you really needn't use it. So these are the various textures. And it's up to you to decide which texture helps your course, you know, as you edit. Now, if you want to cut a video, yeah, you click this, the scissor. Where you want to cut, you click that particular part. Then you click this, okay? Then it separates. If you want to add transition to it, I've already you have already gone through, through that, okay? Let me show you how to export a file. Assuming you finish with this work, I'm just arranging them anyhow. So you don't have to do the same thing. You highlight it and then you come to export. 
when it comes to export you see the trial version because i have not registered and then of course the full version but if you have registered you not see trial version so i choose trial version and then it gives me the various um, formats that we learned um, yesterday or earlier you can see the mp4 avi mov mp1 mp2 all the other options you can see them here so you see why it's good to learn all of these things because it helps you to keep your programs in a certain way and especially saving it in such a way that you can always come back to it and see them playing well these are very very important and it comes to a certain level of expertise okay so let me cancel it so this is where you draft you know you kind of select where you want your job to go you give it a name you want you can give it a high good or you know draft and then there's a format or the resolution 1920 1080 duration is one minute 26 seconds so if i click start then i'm telling the system to start exporting what i have done here what we have done here into the folder that it's already set to get into unless i change it and since i have not changed it you know um, it's going into that particular folder so when it's done that's it you know where to go in the folder to go get it because you saved it and that's how it works it move Avi. very simple final cut is a very very simple you know app just that it's made strictly for apple systems and so they don't share with windows the sign you heard means that the job is done okay and so i want to play and hear it you see it also comes in the movavi video editor tag why because we have not paid for it so they have uh, labeled it you know so i think everybody will see that this job has not you know we haven't been paid for it and stuff like that so you see it's come at the beginning it's kind of came from the beginning and at the end so that is how the movavi works okay um try and exercise try and practice and make sure that this thing is good for you thank you have a lovely evening